Anyway, I've been wanting to make this one for a while because I've mentioned it a few times about everything being underground uh, various eras and uh, they've been building from the rubble from those eras uh, you know in the antediluvian and um, in this era as well and uh, I'm going to show you uh, like things that have been hidden from us again uh, like this I've done a video on this for you you want to watch that I came up with some really good stuff in that video hidden Egypt and I showed this image and I got on about how this looks like it was a pipe right and also I'm going to get into is uh, they had a comment something about oh, turning lead, you know, lead into gold and I think it was being a bit funny uh, and I, I, I made a comment but yeah I do think that metal plastics especially glass will turn back into stone and no how I said that back into stone it will turn back into it's come from the earth and they will turn back into what they came from do I think glass will turn back into sand? Yes, of course I do. You know, metal. Uh, yeah, okay, you might add a few more properties to it to make it metal, but yeah, left, you know, left long enough and uh, with leaching, especially from lime, because like we build today, rebar structures, yeah, steel, iron, inside of concrete, to build huge structures it's going to leach from that and get into it just like in caves right or mother shipton's cave so yeah i do think i mean i've shown enough evidence enough artifacts that were obviously metal right if you can build make things like that which you would need high precision machining to be able to make things like that in stone in the first place then you're obviously making them with machines right so if you had those machines you would be making them you know uh, tools machine parts from metal plastics whatever right you would have been machining with stone to make stone artifacts, would you? Anyway, I pointed this out and I've said that the entire Giza plateau is completely artificial and it's going down for hundreds and hundreds of meters, just like anywhere else on, on this world. This was obviously some type of piping uh, I don't want to get into it again anyway. So, yeah. And notice this here. I didn't mention this last time. This is at the back of this so-called Sphinx. And it's hollow. Right? Someone's just knocked a hole and you can see how thin it is. This is nothing to do with it being natural. It might have been weathered from tens of thousands of years of water. Which I will show you. Uh, anyway, oh yeah, this is a different, um, I've just found this and you could also say that this is part of this walling, but it's not, it's like an old image, oldish, and you can see that this wasn't actually always a sphinx, I mean, I, I don't actually know what this is, anyway, I'll just move on from that. But yeah, this is the back of what they're calling the Sphinx, and that's that hole there, and you can see how thin it is. Okay. And, you know, they don't excavate much stuff around Egypt. They're only excavating areas which they know uh, confirms their bullshit. The world, they know and if they do then it's done in privacy military yeah compounds 
guarding it with the military and things like that. In fact, not much gets uh, excavated these days, actually. <laughs> but I find these it's a bit strange as well at the back of the Sphinx. I mean, yeah, it's quite easy to say that it's been weathered from tens of thousands of years of water. But, I mean, why are these so uniform? These things just look weird to me. Like half of an egg, then you get a little rim. And there's like a little hole inside. And then they come round. It's hard. Can you see that? They're almost like a helmets. It comes round. Then there's a rim and a little hole. And then they come round. Like teeth. It's just weird. All of them. Yeah. Okay, you get the odd area like that that doesn't match up with what I've just shown you. But so what? You know. And I've done a video on showing this. And again, I think that all this, the entire Giza Plateau and everywhere else, is built from rebar structures, concrete. We're talking about huge cities here, skyscrapers, yeah, like we've got today, built from rebar, and they lay concrete, and whatever else. That's what all these holes are, yeah? It's where metal has been removed and rusted away. And you're just left with the concrete, which is now a lot softer, right, from weathering. Because most of the lime runs out and creates a hard surface on the floor, which I'm, I'm mainly, that's what the video is mainly about. Uh, but we can ignore this type of rubbish. I mean, I don't know what it says. It might actually say, done ten years ago. I hope it does, because it looks like it does. Anyway, I've got a few of these all in a row, and this is various areas around Giza, right, that look like this. And mainstream archaeology and geologists want to think or try to convince themselves that this is natural, right? And I'm telling you it's not. And anybody can see that. These are, again, it's rebar structure metal, iron, steel, and whatever else, and then the poor concrete, right, superior concrete, and obviously some blocks laid, and this is like cement, yeah, some, something like that, and they're perfectly spaced, and it's all over, it's everywhere, going down for hundreds and hundreds of feet, or even metres, right, And then you get on the surface, well, I'll show you next. This is another area, it's not the same all, but what I'm, I'm mainly getting at in this video is showing you this stuff that's at the top. All this is eroded concrete, right, where all the lime and all the sand has run out of all this, and it creates a hard surface. This is what, mo what most of Egypt is, it's what most of it looks like. And what most of it is, it's not actually sand. Yes, there are sandy areas, but most of it is just eroded concrete, right? Rubble. And, you know, sand that has come out of this concrete, this sort of stuff. These blocks have not been made to build this structure. This stuff is everywhere. And what this is, is skyscrapers, structures, whatever, have fallen down, right? as the rebar has rusted away and then the, you know whichever civilization or, or, or era has built from this rubble that's what this is this is a different hole uh, well they call these tunnels don't they yeah all these tunnels like I've said there's at least three levels of tunnels that go under Giza and I'm telling you, they're not tunnels, right? There's an entire city, or whatever it was, and it used to be above ground. Like everything else was. And you can see this has been built. The entire th plateau for miles and miles is built like this. This is not the bottom, it's just 
it's you know like an old tunnel where, and it this will go down god knows how far and then you get this hard eroded concrete yeah which has run out and hardened again yeah we, we know from the lime getting wet and you get this surface right this is a tunnel around that area or a structure and again it's a rebar structure which is how seriously high-tech civilizations build just like we do it's the best way and the strongest way to build right and the fastest that's what these lines are okay because this was above ground this is not just being bored out and the telltale sign for that is is how it's bent here look it bends and comes back on itself and arches at the top and then that bends in on itself doesn't it because this is metal and it bends yeah and concrete gets wet and it will bend with it okay this has not been barred out it's a structure this is machinery that's now stone either the imprint of turning back into or from leaching it just looks like massive machine parts doesn't it that's where a huge bolt went into yeah or connector and just look at it there's a plate there actually this bit looked like it opened up and they've stopped working on it and there won't be any more pictures from this site because I can see what it is and all this is eroded concrete this is not desert you're not just going to get these stones blowing around in the wind moving the sand of desert around like we're told it's eroded concrete these this these blocks and all this stuff is bit like I said earlier has been built from this stuff falling down this is the original okay this thing they actually say that this was a superstructure right it all was again but in this you can see diagonal perfectly spaced lines across it because it was a rebar structure right don't know what it was but I can see how it was built this again so this is some of the pyramids and you can see where the metal was and this has just been smashed out this is a different hole right there's one of the pyramids look how far it goes down look at all the holes where rebar went and then you get the spaces it's not natural it's built everything is for hundreds of feet this is last time I'm going to do this and show this around this site. They're calling this a tomb, mainstream yeah, kill A tomb, well, they call everything a tomb, right? Because, uh, well, you know. Well, they're not really researchers, are they? They're just parrots and they talk shit. Uh, but yeah, you can see that was. This has just been knocked out. This is a superstructure that's fallen down. And that's obviously concrete, you can see that. This area. I've shown this before, but I've drawn some lines in for you on next image. This is, uh, anyway, I want you to see these lines here. Right? <clears throat> because you will see the scale of what I'm talking about. Just, they're just pyramids there. This is what, what the lines are, yeah? I've drawn the lines in to show you how this was laid and poured. You know, like we like we pour dams, yeah. Like we build dams and uh, you know highways, uh, you know huge bridges, right? That's the imprint of what we're looking at, where the steel was, yeah. You know, before they poured the concrete, okay. And all this here is eroded concrete that's hardened again, lime. And that's what it looks like today right they've destroyed it and i'm going to show you that they've destroyed it and they've hid it from you these blocks they, they've just excavated this and then put these blocks down to try and show you that it was built from 
blocks. It wasn't, it was built from this. They've smashed it to pieces and hid it from you. Like I've shown you many times with other stuff because that is what it used to look like, people. Look at that. Look at the difference between that and this. It almost looks like this place was some type of... Uh, uh, you know, like, place where it could have been filled up with water, yeah? From all these tunnels that came up here. And, you know, yeah, and you could raise a ship, maybe. Yeah, draining the water, you know, release water and drain it out via this. And they've hid that from you because it's too advanced for people in loincloths. Again, this is eroded concrete that's hardened again. This is not the floor. And I've shown this. It goes down for hundreds of meters. This is an unbelievable image. I'm going to do a video on these so called tombs, right? Because look, the squares, like I've shown you, the rebar structures and the places, like, uh, well, it's on the next image, I think. Anyway, remember that square and that square there because this entire thing is built it's not been cut you know bashed out machined out and also the other thing i just want to say look at the artwork on this and come to your own conclusion whether artwork like this is deservable of the t type of technology that i'm showing no it's not and what do you think these thousand pound, uh, thousand ton sh structures are actually sat on? They're not sat on the, f oh, you know, on the floor on muck. There's an entire superstructure underneath these. These may have actually have been something else before they were ma machined with high technology. Because this is granite. It, they may have actually have been something else because these things are sat on something. They're not just sat on dirt. I can tell you. Because the ones, you know, the well, that are sank, one there. This is the only one that's not in Egypt. Uh, I've touched on this before, because it's the same as what I've just been showing you. None of all this it was a structure. The whole of Petra is a structure, and even in more recent past, it goes down. God knows how far, but they would, they, you know, they don't even want to get into this, because how can all this area be the same, di you know, the same height? What's burying this? It doesn't add up to their bullshit. And you know, this, all this here is built from rubble, from older structures. That's all. Obviously, you know, there's uh, some areas that are built from m mud brick, but you know, this stuff isn't. This was, I found this strange, uh, anyway, you know, it obviously goes down far, but the next image is telling you that above four pillars, uh, something, something uh, that used to be uh, part of a sea, yeah, an ancient sea that ran through this area, they don't think before they say, oh, if an ancient sea ran through here, <coughs> How did they build this in the first, right? How would they be able to build it if an ancient sea was here? Rubbish. They're either ancient structures, rebar structures, right? <clears throat> well, they are. Uh, but I also think it was a huge dam area, uh, you know, releasing water in and out and building ships and what have you. Could have been anything anywhere, uh, but it certainly wasn't that. And then just look at the erosion on this thing. That's the head of the so-called Sphinx. And all this is just the pinnacle of what's underground. And these, this is where metal was. I mean, just look how thick that is. And look at that huge block and that square, yeah, where steel went. 
all this has just probably fallen down this will have been something huge and it's just fallen down and all this is hardened eroded concrete that's on top okay and these are doorways they might have been you know machined out in the past as doorways but all this stuff was built from giants of unbelievable size all this has just fallen down everything you see here was once stood up and it's just fallen down right look at it it's built this has been knocked out just like that yeah this is part of the so-called tunnels i don't know if it's the second third first level <clears throat> but this these pictures were obviously done by humans yeah well you know these structures weren't built by humans and they didn't even know i mean they've even made these shapes holding these device because that's what these were devices i don't, I don't want to get into that i've done a video on it it's this area that I want to show you, right? Because that arm of that child goes over where it broke off. This is just plaster. It's some type of plaster, right? That's over this because this is built in the same way that I've just made my last few videos. Pyramids huge blocks like at Baalbek and where metal was and this is just being done in recent times the Serapium was above ground at one time I've done two videos on that you want to look at it if you think what I'm saying is rubbish well I've just shown you everything else it was above ground this was above ground it was not machined out you know tunneled it was a structure and all those boxes you know well, the site itself was above ground and all this is eroded concrete that's hardened again rebar and concrete shown that loads of times I won't get into it again you've got original which is built like the blocks in Peru yeah and then you've got rubble all these are built with rubble from superstructures that have fallen down and it's not sand is it it's eroded concrete that's hardening again but just look how far it goes down right this is nothing it'll go down for hundreds and hundreds of meters And whatever time frame can turn something like this into this stuff because this will have been metal yeah and wood and gold and whatever well not gold but it just look at what it's turned into this doesn't fit the